Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about chopping up astrology, why you would do it, how you do it, and what you can do with it after you've done it. So as per usual, I will put links in the description to everything I talk about today in case you find something you would like to grab for yourself. And I'd also like to be clear that you can do this with any soft cover notebook. It doesn't have to be Astology 365, although that's what I'm using in my example. You can use a Moleskina or Moleskin or Moleskine or however we're pronouncing it today. Um, you know, this is the great big thick um, expanded with 400 pages. You can do it with this. You can have it chopped. You can do it with a Zequins. You can do it with a Loistrom 1917 soft cover. So anything that's kind of in this format can be chopped. And why you do it really comes down to form and function. So I absolutely love Stologies. Their paper is my favorite of all the papers out there. It takes all my art supplies and pens really well. It's got that thin Bible paper feeling, but it's thicker than the 52 GSM in a Hobonichi. It dries faster than a Hobonichi. For me, it's just better paper. Um, and it has a very, very light grid in the background, which is useful whether you are using it for journaling, just to keep you straight, or if you're going to use it for drafting. I mean, that's really nice to be able to draft without getting a ruler out. You can use it for bullet journaling and mapping out your planner pages. There's just so many uses for this. But I'm used to this A5 size. But then I fell into the world of traveler's notebooks. Um, this is my trusty Peromo. Sometimes they're available on Amazon, so I'll put a link in the description. But often they're not, and if they aren't, there's a link in the description as well to a shop on Etsy where you can get them um, almost exactly the same layout and you can choose your leather. So this traveler's notebook is my happy place. It's my wallet. It has my favorite planner, which is a Midori Traveler's Company Traveler's Notebook number 18. It covers six months and it's got Midori MD paper, which is a happy thing. Um, and it's oh, uh, columns, vertical columns, seven days all the way across. And you can start it at any time of the year. So you can fill in the blanks for the dates, but all the drawing has been done for you. So this is my happy place planner. This is my happy place notebook. This is my happy place journal. And it doesn't fit. <laughs> you can't stick this in this because this will stick out and look absolutely insane. And why would you do that? So you get them chopped down. And this goes to this. And now all of a sudden I can take my Stology and I can put it on one band here in the back and it sits happily next to my planner and my list book which is a sovereign gear insert that I use for things like books I'm reading, movies, um, hashtags that I use for posting on Instagram, keywords that I use for posting on YouTube, just stuff that I don't want to copy from notebook to notebook to notebook. So list book, planner book, and now Stology, which gives me 368 pages to play with for my art journal, my notes, my record keeping, my thoughts, my jibber jabber, my doing long division on a piece of paper because I don't have a calculator handy. All of that goes in here and now it fits. So how do you do that? So whether you're going with a Loisterm or a Zequins or a Moleskina or a Stylogy. You can do it yourself. It works. Um, I had a Stylogy that I had, for whatever reason, chopped some pages out of because I was using them for something else. So I used it as an experiment and I went to my paper cutter, which is kind of a guillotine style. I measured exactly what I wanted and then my guillotine is not strong enough by any means to go through a whole Stylogy. So I kind of opened it like this and did you know like maybe seven pages to start and then seven more and then seven more you can do it with 
a hand paper cutter like that, you can do it with an X-Acto knife and sit there and just painstakingly, like with a T-square, cut those pages. Or you can make life a whole lot easier on yourself and go to a place like Staples or Office Depot, possibly the UPS store, anywhere where they have that kind of print shop capability. I took mine to Staples. They can charge something like $2 for the cut, but they just did it for free for me. I mean, I they don't know me from Adam. I'm not there that often. But I walked in and I had to wait a few minutes because the person working at the print shop was over at the cashier station and she, you know, it took like five extra minutes for her, her to come over. So when she chopped it, she said, oh, you had to wait. No problem. I won't charge you. A lot of people don't get charged for this. I think the print shop people are like, oh, that was not even worth ringing up because it was so easy. So what you do is you measure exactly what you want for the cover that you're using and give them that measurement. And I thought it was really helpful to take like a traveler's notebook insert with me so that she could see what I was after. So I would like hold this up and say, I want this to become this width, like this. And then I gave her a little piece of paper with the exact measurement written on it. And I said really clearly, I just want one cut right here. Um, other people will kind of take this as their template, mark where they want it to be cut, and maybe put a line there to actually give guidance when they chop it. But I was all worried. I was thinking, you know, what if no one else in my area has asked for this? What if this is something they've never done before? And it wasn't like that at all. I walked in and she knew exactly what I wanted the minute she saw it. And she just said, oh, sure, no problem, chop done. So they have a machine that can just cut through this in one fell swoop. And then you get this nice, even edge. Isn't this lovely? It's not even now because I've been painting in it, but nice, even edge like this. And you'll say, hey, now wait a minute. If you're very perceptive, you'll have noticed that this Midori insert for my calendar has squared off corners. And you'll notice that when you chop astrology, it's going to have squared off corners. And you'll say, but Anne, you have rounded corners. Yes, I do. I don't like squared off corners. They annoy me and they don't wear as well. So I prefer them to be rounded. So I take all my inserts and attack them with this corner rounder. It's made by Carl. Um, I've mentioned it in several of my other videos. I've had this for like maybe 20 years. I think I possibly got the first one at a Stampin' Up! party or something like that, but it's made by Carl. They have them on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. And they're really, they're kind of persnickety, but they're great. They don't fall apart. Like I said, I've been using this one probably 20 years. Um, I used to have a calligraphy business and I made a lot of custom place cards and had to Around all those corners. It loves cardstock. It just absolutely loves one sheet of cardstock. Like the cover of Astology, it's just so pleased. <laughs> it works so well. Um, when you get to thinner sheets, it doesn't like one sheet at a time. It prefers, for some reason, six Stology sheets. You can get away with seven. If you try for eight, it says no. And if you only try one, it'll get jammed. But for some reason, it just loves six. So after I have been to Staples and they have chopped apart my Stology, then I will just sit there like while I'm watching a basketball game or something, count out six pages, stick that in the corner, and round it. So I have rounded corners. I have the proper size to fit into my notebook. What else can I do with this? Well... I was looking around at the different covers that I have, and for this size that has been cut exactly to fit a standard TN insert, there's something else that it fits in. This is a Levant leather journal cover. It's refillable. It comes with these notebooks that are coil bound, and if you know me, you know that coil bound is not my favorite. So, lo and behold, a standard TN size chopped up notebook fits perfectly in this Levant. And then you have kind of, I like that pocketbook feeling of how it has a closure like this. 
and you can stick a pen in here like that and carry it around and to be perfectly honest sometimes I will take this when I need it to look nicer because my TN is a little beat up it's very very well loved it's my favorite notebook cover of all time but especially if I've forgotten to condition it in the last couple weeks it can start to look a little a little worse for wear so sometimes I'll consider this like my dressed up cover if I need to go to a meeting or something and have it look a little prettier I can put it in here so that fits and let me try I haven't done this in a while let me see if I can get it to fit hugging style a full wrap like that yes you can Let's see if it still opens and closes it kind of catches just a tiny bit as it opens and closes again but it works so you can do the full wrap it doesn't have to just fit in like slide in style it can go with the cover in the front and the cover in the back and hug that really nicely so again these are made by Levant they have a little pocket on the back they have a pocket here and then there are cutouts to put business cards or credit cards or whatever here and here and then in the front cover, same thing. You have a pocket to slide in your cover, and then you also have two card slots. So, pull this back out. I think it's happier just sliding in like this. But if you want to make it hug, you can. So that's something you can do with one that you've already chopped to standard TN size. But I have a couple of other ideas if you haven't cut the notebook yet. So this is a Webster's Pages Traveler's Notebook. You can get them at Paper House Productions. I will put a link in the description and I think I might have a coupon code for Paper House. You can also, I think, get them on Amazon. So wherever I find them, I'll put the links down below. They come in lots of different colors and formats. So this one is kind of like a suede. Um, it has kind of these bands around it. It gives it some texture and some kind of distinction. Um, and I just love the color. It's this really pretty kind of raspberry watermelon. It's, it's nice. So you pop it open. And what I've been using this for is to store my used traveler's notebook inserts because you can get so many of them in here. But it's a little bit wider than a typical standard TN. And so what you could do is take something like Astology. You could even do, if you wanted multiple, you could do like a whole year for your notebook and then you could do a half year Astology for your planner. Whatever you like, whatever works. You could even do like two Astologies and have one for a different subject. One could be one color, one could be a different color. But anyway, this is kind of a weird size. It's not a true A5, but it's wider than a typical traveler's notebook. And so you could be really custom and precise about this and say, okay, I want mine to go right to the edge of the cover. Measure that, take it in, have them chop it. Or you could say, I'd like it to be about mm, maybe, maybe a half an inch in from the cover because I want to have room to put my tabs. Okay, then measure that, have them cut it. You can be very precise and get exactly what you want to fit the specific cover that's sitting in front of you that you like. So the Webster's Pages one has like a wallet format in the front pocket, it has a back slip-in pocket, and it has a pen loop, and then it comes across with a closure like this, and it has four bands inside. So that one is adorable. That's one option. Another thing that's kind of in that weird size category, um, this is from Wanderings. It is a leather traveler's notebook. They call it A5, I think, but if you were to put a true Stalogy in here, it would stick out a little bit. So if you love the buttery, smooth cover, I just love this. It's kind of suede-like and it just feels so good in your hand. It just makes a notebook feel good. 
Um, it has the closure. It has one main band like this, and then it comes with an extension band like this. So it comes with these three notebooks and they're just blank, but you could take those out and you can insert Astology. And like I said, if you put it all by itself, it's going to stick out a little bit like this. So you could take this to Staples and again, you could say, okay, I want it exactly flush and measure accordingly. Or you could cut so that it's going to have room, just a tiny bit of overhang, room to have your tabs stick out. So that's an option. Again, this is from Wanderings. It doesn't have any pockets or anything like that. It's very, very simple, but it just feels amazing. It's my best feeling cover for my hands. And then this one is made by Paper House Productions. So it's on their website and also through Amazon. And this is just, it's so lightweight. It's like, like if you were gonna go hiking and you just wanted to take one insert to do some sketching, you could have had like your Stology in here in your big normal setup that ends up being this thick and it's kind of heavy to carry around. And you say, okay, well, I'm gonna go somewhere where I just want my lightest, lightest weight thing. Well, you could take your, here it is. I've got so many covers here. Okay, so you could take your newly chopped up Stology and you could pop it in this super lightweight traveler's notebook um, just to protect it while you're on your, your trip. And then when you get home, pop it out and put it in here. I have been using these again to store past inserts. This one comes with two bands and it has one pocket in the front and then it closes like this. And you can stick a pen in here. So those are a couple of options of kind of the custom nature of this project. It does not have to go from an A5 to a standard TN. It doesn't have to go from an A6 to whatever the next standard size below it is. You can absolutely be as creative as you want and you can just, you know, look around, see what covers you have that you love but you aren't using. That's the trick. Covers that you love but they aren't getting enough use because you don't have a notebook that fits them, well, take it to Staples. Thank you very much for watching. If you found something in here helpful, then please click like. And if you'd like to come back and see more planning and journaling and notebooks, anything to do with making paper look pretty, then please click subscribe and come back and see me again. Thank you so much for watching. Be well. Bye-bye.